So we get our first taste now from Chase Field, and we bring in live Debbie Taylor talking about a familiar face back with the Nationals. Deb, it's good to see you. Uh, thanks, Byron. Justin Maxwell has gone back and forth between Syracuse and D.C. This will be his fourth stint with the Nationals, and he's glad to be back, and he told me he will do anything to contribute to the team. You know, it's good. It's always good to be called back up to the big leagues, and, uh, you know, it's good to see the guys again. But at the same time, you know, it's been a little bit of whirlwind season for me, but, uh, you know, it's been a blessing to get back here. Have you been able to handle all the back and forth between D.C. and Syracuse? Um, you know, it's tough to get into, like, a hitting groove and whatnot, but, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with both teams down there. Like, I know everybody's name down there. We're all good friends down here, and at the same time, I got a lot of friends up here. So it's kind of like I'm on two teams at the same time, and uh, you try to get acclimated as quickly as you can wherever you are. Let's talk a little bit about some of the guys down in AAA. Wilson Ramos is someone that everybody in Washington is anxious to hear about. Your impressions of him? Um, you know, I got to play one game with him, and he hit the ball pretty, uh, pretty hard every at bat. And uh, his batting practice was impressive too. You know, uh, when he was with Rochester, the Twins AAA, I only got to play a couple games against him, so I really hadn't got to see him play as much. But uh, you know, I've heard good things, and you know, I know we're glad to have him. Anybody else that's caught your eye or that you've been impressed with that you can tell us about? Yeah, Jason Botts. We signed him from uh, the Independent League, Atlantic League. He's been doing well in Syracuse. And uh, AAA All-Star Chase Lavin has been having a pretty good season, too. So, you know, those two guys and, you know, everyone's pretty much doing well. And uh, they're in this, I think they're still on the wild card hunt, so I think they're trying to make a push for that. And finally, Justin, just your thoughts on staying sharp. You're in a role that you don't really know what's going to be asked of you. How do you stay sharp? For Jim Riggleman. Just mentally, you just try to be ready, try to anticipate when you're going to get your name called or, you know, check the probable, see when a left-hander starter is going to come. But you just got to be ready at all times. You never know uh, how Jim wants to use you. You just got to be ready. Jim Riggleman said, too, that he, you know, is very pleased with the way Justin has accepted his role. And he said he wished he could give him more at-bats, but, you know, it's a numbers game. And he can probably be used as a defensive replacement. He'll come in to pinch run, and uh, he's done a good job of that when he's been called upon to do that. Now let's go back to you, Byron and Ray, for more on Justin Maxwell.